one. Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to National. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. They are kitty corner or across the street from Wilson Park, so if you get your skates sharpened there, you can go test them out right away. I believe Wilson Park has from three to four open skates every day. If I remember correctly, don't quote me on it. <laughs> they they did last year. All righty. Uh, up first, we've got the Atlanta Gladiators versus the South Carolina Stingrays. Yep. Not our first rodeo with the Stingrays. No. There isn't very much like from us to the Stingrays. <laughs> Every team we've had covered has had a rivalry with the Stingrays. Yeah. So let's jump up in this. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. The Stingrays outshot the Gladiators 17 to 12. In the second period, the Stingrays outshot the Gladiators 12 to 6. In the third period, the Stingrays outshot the Gladiators 11 to 4. In overtime, the Gladiators outshot the Stingrays 3-1. to one. And in total, the Stingrays outshoot the Gladiators 41-25. to 25. Scoring in the first was Ryan Cranford with an assist from um, Michael Marcheson and Jackson Pearson. Uh, no scoring in the second. Uh, in the third, uh, Josh Wilkins, former Milwaukee Admiral, uh, with a goal for uh, South Carolina with an assist from Connor Moore and Spencer Meyer. Um, in overtime, uh, Luke Prokop buries it uh, with uh, an assist from uh, Mitchell Fossier and Cody Sylvester. I did. I did see a putty tag. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Every time I hear see hear Sylvester, I ha I can't. Nope. It's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> all righty um in that for uh the atlanta gladiators was tyler Harmon. he stopped 40 of 41 with a 97.5 save percentage sounds like a radio station yeah <laughs> the way they do theirs uh oh god uh garner bjorkland uh, he stopped 23 of 25 with a save percentage of 92%. Flat. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as I said, Josh Wilkins um, was a former Admiral. I believe, if I remember 100% correctly, he was with the Admirals in the 2020-2021 season, as well as the 2019 2020 season towards the end. If I remember 100% correctly. Um, I I would have to double that, but I believe I'm correct. Let me make sure, because I don't like being wrong. <laughs> Unless there's another Josh Wilkins in this world. Yep, 2019-2020. Wow, spot on. And because we didn't play in 2020-2021, he went to Tucson. 2021-2022, he played um, in uh, the Swedish League. And now he's back in the E. Yeah. Last year playing for South Carolina had 62 points. He's already got seven points in nine games for them. Um, so there you go. There's uh your Admiral's alum opponent that I have found in the E. <laughs> <laughs> go figure they get on the scoreboard. All righty, so we're back at it again, I guess, with uh Atlanta and South Carolina tomorrow. I would imagine. 
Um, I believe so. Uh, Jacksonville Iceman. Oh, so they got to travel. So they're going to Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, Jacksonville, they play at 6 our time, Central Time. Yep. All righty, on to the next game. This is, we know we're going to have a repeat of tomorrow, just hopefully not as bad. Right. So, John, just take it away. We'll go into why in a minute. All right. Uh, tonight, the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Texas Stars. Shots on goal in the first period. Texas outshoots Milwaukee 12 to 8. In the second period, both teams had nine shots. In the third period, the Admirals had 17, the Stars had eight. And in total, the Admirals have 34, and Texas has 29. On the power play, Milwaukee went 0 for 3 with 17 minutes, 7 infractions, while Texas goes 2 for 5 with 23 minutes, 6 infractions. All righty. Scoring of the first was Logan Stankov, and that was on the power play, uh, 59 seconds in, with his seventh with an assist from Curtis McKenzie, his tenth, and Maverick Mork, his ninth. That was scored on the power play. And at the 323 mark, Anthony Angelo scores with an, his first with an assist from David Butter, his first, and Jasper Weatherby, his second. Then Frederick Karlstrom scores at the 555 mark with an assist from uh, Matea Blummel. His fifth and Oscar Beck, his sixth. That was Karlstrom's third. Then Fedor Svechkov scores his second with an assist from Dennis Giryanov, his sixth. That was at the 929 mark. Then at the 1355 mark, Riley Dinimani scores his third with an, an assist from Antonio Stranges and Leon Bushel. The second at the 621 mark, Texas gets on the board from Chase Wheatcroft, his first, assisted by Frederick Carlstone, his third, and Riley Dimiani, his third. Then at the 640 mark, the Admirals get on the board with a goal from Kevin Gravel, his first, assisted by Dennis Gurianoff, his seventh. Then at the 1507 mark, Cal O'Reilly scores his first of the year, assisted by Joachim Kemmel his third, and Zachary LaRue, his third. Then scoring in the third at the 158 mark was Chase Wheatcroft with his second with an assist from Matthew Simonoff, his second, and Antonio Stranger's his fourth. Uh, then scoring on an empty net that should not have counted. This was uh, Frederick Karlstrom, his fourth, with an assist from Matea Blubble, his sixth, and Michael Caro, his second. Uh, the puck hit an inseam in the glass. Uh, the inseam in the glass was actually out of play. So yeah. technically that goal should not have counted because it bounced back onto the ice. And the referees just let it go. They let go a lot of stuff tonight. Your referees were Chris Waterstrad and Philip Casco. Uh, linesmen were Michael Megans and Aaron Sh uh, Shinnock. Hopefully we don't see them tomorrow. Attendance at the HEB Center in Cedar at Cedar Park was 5,791. In net for the Texas Stars was Matthew Murray. He stopped 30 of 34. In net for the Admirals was Troy Grostick. He stopped 23 of 28. The Admirals fall again to the Texas Stars 6 to 4. We will be back tomorrow with a show covering the the Letter Gladiators and the Jacksonville Iceman. We have the Milwaukee Admirals and Texas Stars and the Nashville Predators against the Arizona Coyotes. Now the Nashville Predators um, are sitting in last place in the Central Division. 
Yeah. We'll see how this goes. But see you tomorrow.